Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we are going to introduce you to free shape design within Top Solid 7. Free shape design can be used to modify imported geometry like it was created within Top Solid 7 to begin with. Let's take a look. Okay, let's get started. First, we just want to show you in our history tree it's an imported part, in fact. From here, we're just going to right click and edit, and the software gets us into free shape mode. In fact, the first thing that we want to do is we want to help Top Solid 7 to recognize the fillets. And we're going to do them in specific groups. To select these two to start with. And as you can see, once I've selected them, not only did it remove them from the model, but it also added them in our history tree. And I'm just going to continue going through the design, selecting the fillets and the chamfers that I want to recognize and control later parametrically. So like that, we're going to exit out and see what Top Solid's done. Now we can just double click on the feature, get the radius of 2 millimeters and change it to 3, and like that, the model is up to date. And again, this was on an imported model. That's a nice handy feature. Let's maybe see what else we can do. I'm going to go and right click again, choose edit, and now I'm going to start unfixing faces. We call it unfixed because by default, all of these faces now have a designation of fixed. If you're uh, familiar with parametric designs and parametric sketchers, you have a fixed constraint. So by default, all of our faces are fixed. When we unfix them, now we can automatically start to constrain them. And as you can see, some of the faces are purple, some of them are blue. The purple faces represent uh, faces that are unconstrained or undefined. I'm going to add a quick dimension here, and you can see that back face turn blue, which means it's now fully defined, which also means I can just double click on it and change its value dimensionally. Let's watch some other samples. Here we're going to add a dimension for that width, a dimension from the axis at the center to that face, and now just for fun we're going to relate the two. We're going to name this one, or we're going to, pardon me, make this one 34 millimeters. And now we're going to name the dimension L, make it 32, why not? Ah, 35. And now we're going to make 16 equal to L divided by 2 just to create a simple equation. And like that now if we modify L, we always stay centered. From here we're going to add a dimension to the axes of our drillings. We can go ahead and modify those. And you can see the drillings even update. So the idea behind free shape design here is to give you the ability to edit your model regardless of whether that model was created inside of Top Solid or another CAD software. Maybe you found this model online, you downloaded it as a free parasolid component, for example, and you just need to make some subtle changes to it for your application. You can do it with ease with Top Solid 7. Here we're just going to unfix some more faces, just to show you some other edits that you can do. Like that, we'll add a dimension from there to there. Maybe we'll add one from there to there. From that face to that face. So it's almost like you're dimensioning it in 2D. We're just giving you the ability in Top Solid to control it in 3D space. So again, if we make a change, you can see the model updates dynamically. Now in this case, we're going to add a geometric constraint between this face and this face. And like that, we don't need a dimension, but they will all follow each other from now on. So if we make another change, all will update. 